Hi, I'm Kai and today I want to show you a video from the SPS Fair in Nuremberg. The SPS is one of the biggest automation fairs in Germany or maybe in Europe and I was invited by Back of Automation to talk about the MX system. For me it was the first time that I saw the STMX system in real life and I was really impressed how small you can build a complete control panel into a few modules. Marvin explained me each single functions of the MX system and if you are curious now about the MX system, let us go to Nuremberg. I have invited Kai, an expert on ePlan and cabinets, to present him the MX system. So Kai, a few months ago we already talked about the MX system and yeah, what the principle of it is. And today you have the yeah, first chance to see it in person, that we can discuss all the details. Yeah, thanks Marvin for the invitation. Yeah, for me, it's the first time that I see the Backhoff MX system in real life. I'm very curious about the system. Okay, so it's not the MX system, so it consists in this case of several ones so that you can create topologies that fits the needs of your machine. And we can maybe go over to the conventional control cabinet that we brought with us so that we can yeah, take a look at some details that might interest you as an expert on, on cabinets. Yeah, here you can see a traditional control cabinet. This exists here out of a main breaker, including some line filters, the income measurement, and you have power distribution, potential distributions. And in addition to that, you have also several types of motor starter, like for example, direct motor starter, reversing motor starter, and frequency drives. What's with frequency drives in terms of backhaul? You have frequency drives? So until now, we haven't had any frequency drives, but with the MX system, and we can check that out in a minute, um, we also provide um, frequency drives for yeah, our applications. Yeah. So we have also some control components. We have the 24 and the 48 volt power supply. We have some solenoid relays. And for sure, we have terminals. What I think we don't need anymore. Right. So everything that's highlighted here in white um, is not necessary anymore for the regular. Con uh, it's necessary in the regular control cabinet, but not necessary for the MX system because, for example, the thermostat that sets the temperature for the cabinet. We don't have a cabinet anymore, so we don't need that. As well as all these yeah, inputs and outputs to diagnose maybe fuses that changes completely with the MX system because everything is built in and diagnosable with either cat so we can get rid of all of this. So maybe we can go back to the MX system and talk about the topics that you just mentioned. So you mentioned the, yeah, the in-feed, so that's with the main switch module, so there you find also the physical main switch. But this also includes things like the line filter you mentioned and also 24 watt power supplies, also energy measurements. So in the cabinet we saw like the um, devices that you need to measure um, the currents and the voltages, everything is built inside here. In terms of frequency inverters, we also find them, they look like this, so quite similar to servo drives, but with um, yeah, optimized functionalities for AC motors. And um, yeah, 48 volt power supplies, you mentioned that, we can find it here, so we can use it for compact motion, so for servo motors that run on 48 volt DC link. So everything comes in the complete cabinet free solution. Yeah, quite nice. One point, what we electricians always have in our pocket is the control cabinet key. The enclosure of the cabinet has to reason to protect us as an electricians from the electricity inside the cabinet, but also the devices inside the cabinet from the outside environment. What's the IP rating of your system? So the IP rating of the MX system is IP67. So as you just mentioned, as everything is not touchable, so the critical parts where you could get, could get injured by high voltages, it's not possible to, to touch that with your finger. So that's the reason why we don't need to protect the human being anymore. And also the, yeah, the devices themselves, due to the high protection class, don't need to be protected to the environment anymore. So it comes as it is. You can just mount it at the machine with IP67. So the cabinet um, key is not needed anymore. Yeah, that's really good. So basically, 
the MX system based on functionalities. Right. We as electrical designer also focus more and more on the functional orientated way to design our electrical drawings. So on the end, it makes sense this development and uh, you don't need to build a cabinet anymore. That means the labor shortage in panel building is also solved with the system. What about ePlan macros? Do you provide something for us? Definitely we will provide them and it also gets easier because as we said, everything is built in. The protection, the potential distribution, you don't need to draw that separately as you would do with a regular control cabinet. You will just need to draw the modules themselves and then draw the connected device, a sensor, an actuator, and that's basically it. Yeah. So, Kai, would you use the MX system in the future? Yeah, I would give him a try, definitely. In terms, when you, when you have a look on machine builders, we build more and more machines on a modularization way, and the MX system represents this modularization from the functionalities and also from the perspective of an electrical designer about the functionalities. I think, yes, I would give him a try. Yeah, I'm looking into the future and see how machine will change with the MX system and cabinet-free automation. Yeah.